Hey there, Josh Beasley, president of EcoPanels of Tennessee. I have Carl Reniger with me with EcoPanels, and this is a job that Carl sold, and we're going to kind of talk about why our uh, logo is upside down on this panel, but really we're wanting to get into uh, what we do to accommodate some high wind load, high wind, uh, the, the necessity to build in an area that has a, uh, a high wind code. And so Carl's dealt with these customers. They're West Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Whitewater, yeah. Wisconsin, up in Wisconsin. So yeah, the wind and the snow and everything gets yeah. blowing up through there pretty good. So they're doing six and a half inch, six and a half inch R forties. Yeah, R forties. So good insulation up there, yeah. things like that. But we got to do things a little different to accommodate their high wind load, yeah. right? right? So kind of walk us through that a little bit. Why we're essentially standing our panels upside down in our in our factory completely upside down i want to make that very clear um, obviously with the lettering like it is the bottom of the panel is actually going to be flipped and that's why we've got a one foot overlap or overhang that's going to attach to the band of the house and that gives us a lot more wind protection every all the st statistical information and data we can provide to you independently but uh, it's a huge benefit to a lot of our clients yeah so carl they're gonna they're gonna set this basically like they normally would any other sit correct panel, right? except they're just bumping that base plate out by half an inch correct right? correct so that that wing that sticks up is just going to lap over correct. and it gives them a lot of area to fasten that to their support absolutely makes it super super strong tons of protection yeah. engineers love it engineers love it yeah so it you know really the only complexity for us in doing this um, you got to be a little careful handling sure. these, right? Right. Shipping, especially, is, is you know very cumbersome. So we want to make sure and block that up. And the guys are always great about shipping it out, so they'll protect it um, and keep it all safe. You know, maybe the hardest thing out of all this is our guys have to figure out how to ride upside down. So that that's a, we number all of our panels. We, uh, if you've watched our other videos, of course, we stack pretty well every house up. We dry fit our houses here in the shop. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. We've, we've dry fitted this one together, make sure everything's, walls are the length that they should be. Measured, everything's within tolerance. And when we when we ship it out, it'll go to the customer. They make us few adjustments. Yeah. For instance, you know, just as always in some of our other videos, we have the ability to shrink or expand right here in this expansion joint, or what we call a splice block. Yeah. So, absolutely. So, there you go. Can we accommodate high wind loads? Absolutely. We can put this, uh, this drop layer on the outside like we have on this house. There's other things we can do, strapping, some blocking, things like that. But that may be dependent on your design and talking with engineers and things like that. And location, so, location, location. That's right. So, Thanks. If you would like more information on EcoPanels, just visit our website. Uh, as always, we can send you a free assembly manual if you're interested in how all this goes together. We'd love to share that with you. Thanks.